1017 FM and 710 Keel. Robert J. Wright and Aaron McCarty and guests on Keel always heard on the Jack Spring Electric Keel Newsmaker Hotline. Mr. Roy Burrell, Caddo Commissioner. Mr. Roy, welcome back. Thank you for taking time for us. Uh, no problem. How are you this morning? Good, Roy. You're you're proposing a vaccine mandate for Caddo Parish workers, but there is an amendment where you can avoid getting the vaccine. Explain what the commission is doing. Well, when I when I originally uh, proposed the the ordinance, uh, it was it was not uh, constructed the way I had asked. I had asked for uh, an out for the employee if they would. Uh, submit to uh, weekly testing. And uh, the way the ordinance originally came out, it came out as a mandate. Uh, and I didn't see it until actually we, it was almost, well, it had been done and, and, and advertised. So, again, uh, what it does, it, it tells the employee if you're not willing to uh, get the vaccine, then your out is that you be tested weekly so that if you contract the virus, at least we'll have a handle on that and then we can quarantine you and whatever the case may be. So that is the option. So there's your plan when you're coming up for a vote. What do you, you obviously you have spoken with other members of the commission. You think it's got a good chance? Well, I'm, I'm hoping that it does, but you just never know. Uh, every day, you know, take care of itself. I explained it to uh, my fellow commissioners before the work session, and uh, I had full agreement uh, at the time. And then when it got to the when it got to the work session, then we had a couple that kind of pulled off uh, on it, and uh, we were still able to get it passed. Mr. Roy, I am assuming that that you came up with this idea because it is your sense. I would think that there's a whole bunch of Caddo Parish employees who have not been vaccinated is am, am i assuming too much on your uh, about what you thought well my my thoughts were uh, uh to be honest even if we had a few this delta virus is so so contagious it's a one to five ratio i, I do my research and it's, it's a one to five ratio on on spreading unlike the alpha virus I mean, the alpha variant. I have the alpha variant. It's kind of, uh, it's pretty much one to one, according to uh, uh, the, the CDC and 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 other uh, medical uh, uh, individuals. Uh, it is a one to five spread. That that is that is worse than chickenpox. Uh, it's worse than the flu. So when you got something with a spread that much, you got to do something to control it and get ahead of it. And that's and that's the purpose. Roy, there are those who say this is government overreach. This is going too far. And your response? My response is we have a responsibility as government to protect the public. We 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 we're just not there for water, sewer, uh, drainage, and 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 those things. We have an obligation to the public. We call it public health. And from that perspective, I've, I've, I've toyed over that. I've, I've dealt with these issues of so-called civil liberties, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of politics in this. I'm cutting through the politics. Um, uh, I feel that there is a, a, a safety issue out there for all of our citizens, not just a particular group. And and I'm, I'm willing to take the backlash. I had a, uh, a person who called me or, or, or text me saying, well, I'm not going to vote for you anymore. Good. Because as far as I'm concerned, if this is going to save the lives of one individual, then I don't need your vote. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, you know, I've been in this stuff 20 some years and I've always taken that position. The public comes first. What about the, those that say, but we may lose workers over this. We can't afford that. Uh, if there's an employee, and I made the statement yesterday, too, if there's an employee that feel that they have the right to infect others with no regard for their lives as, as well as their health, then all I can say is we appreciate your service, but you can no longer be there 
and it's not it's not an automatic. Uh, let me make this clear: it's not an automatic. It's not automatic where they are fired. They are brought in. They are counseled uh, uh, and everything to to impress upon them the importance of the decision that is being made. And then it's left up to them as an individual to make that decision. Roy Burrell, Caddo Parish Commissioner, thanks for your time, sir. Good stuff, Mr. Roy. Always a pleasure, and uh, thanks for joining us. Same here. Mm -hmm. 1017 FM and 710 Keel Sports just ahead. Here's Ruben.